Hello, Summoners, and welcome to another episode of Phaeology, the study of Fire Emblem Heroes. My name is Joel, and I'm going to talk a little bit about Gatekeeper tonight. So, basically what I have been working with is how exactly his obstruct skill functions. It's been interesting, and it hasn't worked exactly like I thought it would. I wanted to go through a few slides and discuss that. This won't be a long one, I won't take up too much of your time, but... First off, let's just look at the skill itself. This is detailed report. The first part is foes with range equal one cannot move through spaces adjacent to unit. So we've got obstruct without an HP condition. Fantastic. The last part is foes cannot warp into spaces within four spaces of a unit. This is pretty self-explanatory. That is a large range though. The last one is the one that kind of confused me. This is foes within range equal to cannot move through spaces within two spaces of unit. And rather than trying to explain what confused me, let's just look at pictures of what it actually is. So first off, sorry, let's back up, go to melee. And this is about what we expected. Okay, this is obstruct, right? Works like obstruct did. What I really wanted to look at is that warp and not so much the ability itself, but just the fact that that range is absolutely enormous, way bigger than I thought. Now I've mainly been looking at Gatekeeper on defense because I think he does some interesting things, but you can imagine on offense how much Catria shenanigans this blocks. It's amazing. Let's move on to the one that did confuse me a bit. <laughs> so. This is detailed report for a ranged unit. So obviously you can see this, this isn't too difficult. Uh, one of the things that got me, I did not realize that obstruct had, obstruct had no effect on positional movement. So smite, reposition, it does not care. And that's really important in, I mean, when you're trying to use a unit on defense and usually everyone has a smite bot. So this is pretty self-explanatory. The big thing I want to point out is how few people Gatekeeper actually protects. <laughs> so on offense, obviously it's a little bit different, but essentially from a ranged unit and from melee as well, the only spot that's really protected is the one right behind Gatekeeper in this configuration. Obviously, and I'm gonna show some, some stuff when you corner him, and there are some interesting things you can do with terrain, but in general, it's really difficult to get him to protect a team like a savior unit would. And honestly, in most cases, I think he would rather have a savior unit than Gatekeeper. So that's important to note. But we've looked at them, we've looked at the pictures. Let's really jump into this and just functionality wise, see how this works. So let's go test defenses and I've got something up right here. Uh, so this is pretty much like I talked about. Of course. Um, this, is a, this is a configuration that I was looking at and I, I've removed all the stuff in front so that we can move easily and I don't have to worry about it. Um, you can see it's not too hard what is your desire? to get to almost every unit here. Now I've got a far save unit in this configuration, so that's a thing, but I kind of expected Gatekeeper to be able to protect a backline and he definitely cannot. Um, yeah, I, that's mostly my misreading of the skill, <laughs> but you know how that goes. Um, I do think the wording could have been better, but you know, what do you do? I won't lose. Goodness. Close your eyes. It will be done. Just to demonstrate the melee. Yeah. Like I can hit every unit on that front line. Um, there's one last thing I wanted to point out, and that's again looking at the range of that warp. And everything you see in red. A unit can't warp in there. So against units like Peony, who I use all the time, this is tough. But anyway, let's go to just one other thing. I wanted to look at what happens when you corner him. And I can't take credit for this defense. This is something someone else was playing with. 
and I took it because I thought it would be fun to use. So essentially what we're looking at with our ranged of unit. Course. Yes. Why not? Yes. Yes. And we'll just burn a turn here. It will be done. When we take what this unit in, there are two units that Gunther can attack. One is Seros and one is Gatekeeper. And that's it. Uh, that goes for melee as well. Um, now I have seen, I guess Howdy was demonstrating to me that you could uh, double smite Erica. <laughs> because of course he would, he's, he's Howdy and he uh, always has to figure out some crazy way of doing things. Um, what is your desire? I believe in you. I am the answer. So you can see, shouldn't have been able to get there, but got smote. And so the smote does not matter. And actually, once you're smoked up there, you can see that you can easily take out this duo hindrance building, which for a lot of teams, and I ran up against one a couple days ago that had, I, I think it was three or four duo heroes. It was a ton. Yeah, anyway, I guess it had to be three, didn't it? No, no, it was four because it was Linja. Anyway, it was a lot. I won't uh, you can see that that's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> So, yeah, he doesn't protect as much as I thought he would. I will say that. You guys have seen a little bit how he functions. I, I'll continue to try to look up, a, try to figure out a defensive strategy, but it's, it's been interesting. Um, yeah, if you're interested in seeing how this works over the week, I'll be continuing to run that. I'll probably try to run this again on light season as well, just because I'm curious how that works. But if you like the episode, please leave a comment or subscribe. If you'd like to chat, you can join the research and development server or direct messages on Discord. Our tags are in the show notes. Hope you have a wonderful day. And this clears some stuff up and schedule an appointment with your fail just real soon. Take care, folks. <laughs>